Yes, hello, how are you doing? I'm extremely happy to share this video with you. So previously, I've been putting up videos on YouTube and people were like, it's better I use English for communication. So therefore, starting from today and onwards, I'll be having a blend of videos, some in English and some in Luganda, my local language here in Uganda. So, my name is Timothy Chualavie, I'm a very happy farmer from Uganda and I'd love to introduce to you the Junchao grass, yeah? This plantation that we are in here, it's around two months, it made two months last week. So mainly the first question is, what is Junchao? So if I'm to translate Junchao into Chinese, Junchao means mushroom grass. Jun meaning mushroom, then chow meaning grass. So how did this grass come in? First of all, back then in China, sorry, back then in China, they used to cut down trees in order to get substrate or wood in order to make a substrate for growing mushrooms. So imagine them cutting down trees on a very big scale and they are getting substrate from the trees to grow mushrooms. So in that way, it endangers the ecosystem. So some of the great scientists had to go do research. What item can we bring in that can be a very great substitute for growing mushrooms? Instead of us going to cut down the trees, let's now come up with something new. And that's Jun Chao. And this is what they came up with, Jun Chao. So, research happened, then after, the Jun Chao broke out, or the Jun Chao technology broke out. And this is the grass they use for planting mushrooms. So instead of going to cut down trees on large scale, we have this grass here that grows extremely fast, has big amounts of biomass, and can be harvested, turned into a substrate for growing both medicinal and mushrooms that are eatable so that's how it came in play and this is how we have the jun chow so apart from growing mushrooms jun chow has more other use cases it can be applied into the fodder system whereby you can harvest the jun chow give it fresh to the animals to consume yeah if not that you can harvest the jun chow turn it into silage, and then give to the animals. Its protein content is extremely high compared to the different grasses we have around. So it turns out to be a perfect solution. So imagine a grass that you can keep on harvesting every after two months, and it grows like crazy. The rate of tearing is extremely so high. So it can be given to the fish, it can be processed in two different pellets or food whatever and all that so away from the fodder it also helps in the ecological management remember the jun chow has really got an amazing root system so in that it can help bind the soil together and in that way having the soil brought together it helps prevent the soil erosion and other challenges that are faced when soil is loose so under that, we can have Jun Chao under the bioenergy tool. It can be used to create biodiesel, electricity. The list is endless. So I'll be sharing with you more and more here on my YouTube. Thanks for subscribing. I'm happy to have you here. And come along as we journey together. Let's see the wonders what the Jun Chao can do. Bye-bye. See you next time.